today, President Biden announced new steps to reach rural Americans in an effort to vaccinate more people. The administration will be sending doses directly to thousands of health clinics in those areas. But parts of Idaho are so geographically remote, they don't even have health clinics. Murphy, Idaho, an unincorporated village on Idaho's Highway 78 home to just 97 people. It is the county seat of Owyhee County, one of the smallest county seats in America. There's no health clinic or doctor's office in Murphy. The closest one is a good 45 minute round trip, if not longer, but today, Good morning, are you guys ready for the vaccine? Come on over here. The Terry Riley Health Services Mobile Vaccine Clinic is coming to them, setting up shop at the Owyhee County Museum and Library. I'll let you have a seat here. Which arm do you want to use today? In all, about 50 people will get their shot in the arm. 66-year-old Paul Verhagen is one of them. Well, I wouldn't have done it otherwise. I would not have got the shot if they wouldn't have come out here. Too much trouble. I hate going to town. So, I just... There's a lot of us out here like that. 50 people may not sound like a lot, but that's more than half of Murphy's population. We want to show them that they're equally as important as um, some of our folks that we see in our bigger cities. 35 of Idaho's 44 counties are considered rural. Rural Americans are the most hesitant group in the country, and that holds true here in Idaho. Vaccine rates in rural Idaho are falling behind urban areas, according to Health and Welfare. And that can make rural communities especially vulnerable. It only takes a small number within the community to decide not to vaccinate, to severely compromise herd immunity for the rest of the town and state. How do you yeah. feel it? Feel what? Providing better access to the vaccine is key. All done. You see a lot of laughter and a lot of folks who are really excited about about this opportunity to have someone really care for them and come out and give a shot. Since the pandemic began, Jesus Blanco and the Terry Riley mobile vaccine team have traveled all over Southwest Idaho targeting the underserved. We've been out to the fields. We've out been working with um, growers. We've been doing some vaccine clinics that are out in warehouses, um, manufacturing plants, offices, schools, gymnasiums. It's really where are people and how can we get the vaccine to them? In Wilder, Terry Riley vaccinated more than 200 agriculture workers inside a warehouse where hops are usually dried. Later, at a second clinic, ag producers brought in another 300 laborers to get their shots. In Melba, town of 576, the Senior Center became a vaccine clinic. They've been to Sims Fruit Ranch in Caldwell, Go-Go Squeeze in Nampa, Community Council of Idaho in Caldwell, and at Great American Snacks in Nampa, the company that makes onion rings for A&W and Applebee's, 40 employees were vaccinated just last week. Terry Riley's given out more than 10,000 vaccines since the rollout began. Heidi Hart is their CEO. Whether it's Homedale or Marsing or Wilder or Parma, really trying to make sure vaccine goes to where people live. Back in Murphy, Linda Sant turns in her paperwork to get the vaccine. I love that it's out here in the county, very convenient, and it actually felt like we matter. She is now part of the 28% of Idahoans fully vaccinated. 80% is the target number set by Health and Welfare to try and achieve herd immunity. It's a long way to go, but it is possible, especially if providers reach out to all of Idaho, both urban and rural. I guess I, I feel a little greater sense of confidence. Yeah, a lot more protection. Terry Riley says community leaders in these small towns have really been incredibly beneficial in getting people out to these clinics. People in small towns don't necessarily want to hear from big city doctors and government leaders that they should get vaccinated. But if they hear it from someone in the, their own community that they trust and know that their friends have gotten vaccinated without serious side effects, they're much more likely to get one too.